Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is quite a short little video um, to show you how to crochet a solid granny triangle shawl. Um, this is quite a uh, long requested video um, by a number of people who have commented or messaged me after watching my other granny shawl video, which is based from a traditional sort of granny triangle. And a lot of people have asked for a solid version. So it is an incredibly simple, quick, mindless repeat of just one row. So you don't really have to think too much about this pattern and you can just keep going for as long as you like until your triangle is as big or as small as you like. So you can keep it small and have it like a shawlette or you can go huge, which is what I always tend to do and have it as just a massive, great big granny shawl, which is the ideal cover up for when it's a bit chilly, but it's not, it's not cold enough to have lots of layers. So this is a great pattern um, for if you wanna mix up your granny shawls. And as I say, it's been long requested. So this video is pretty much for every single person that's been asking me for the last year to film this video. Um, so grab your yarn, whatever yarn you want, and uh, let's begin. To make the solid granny shawl, um, I will show you the first few rounds because it's very, very simple and it's got a super easy repeat. So this is just a nice variation on the granny triangle shawl, whereas instead of having traditional granny clusters, you have a nice solid granny shawl instead. It's super duper warm and a great base for if you then wanted to mix up your stitches in and amongst your shawl as you go. So I'm using some leftover yarn um it is either <laughs> it's either signet boho spirit in maybe fiesta or it might be ice yarns prima donna i'm not sure the colorways are incredibly similar and as you can see it's just like a little caked scrap of a leftover ball so i couldn't actually tell you which it is but um yeah either or of those will work but you are uh, can use any yarn and any hook size for this that you like. So I'm gonna start with a magic ring. If you don't know how to do a magic ring, I have a video showing you how that is done. Um, I will link to it in the description box below. And straight away from your magic ring, you're going to chain two. Now this chain two does not count as a stitch, so you are going to ignore it on every single row. So I want you to put three double crochets into the center ring. Chain two and add three more double crochets back into that magic ring. And you can go ahead and tighten up that magic ring to draw it closed. So you can see already we have a little slightly rounded but a little triangle. So this will be the peak of your triangle and this is the long edge here. So to do the next row you're going to chain two. Again this chain two does not count as anything and turn your work into this very first double crochet here you're going to put two double crochets right into that very first stitch then you're going to pop a double crochet into the top of the next two double crochets so you're going to go underneath and catch both those loops Just one in each. Then you're back to your chain two space and into this and for every other round <laughs> till the very end of your shawl, once you've got it as big as you want it to be, into this sort of middle chain two space, you're going to put two double crochet 
chain two and two double crochet all into that chain two space. So I've done two double crochet, chain two, two more double crochet all into that chain two space. Now we're going to work back down, so pop a double crochet in the next stitch, a double crochet in the next stitch, and already, because these are very short rounds, the first few, you're back to that first double crochet you did. Now that's your chain two, ignore that, into the top of this double crochet you're going to end with two double crochets into the same stitch. chain two, remembering that that doesn't count as anything, turn your work and put two, so an increase, two double crochets into that very first stitch. So for every round you start with an increase into your very first stitch. Then you're going to put a double crochet into every double crochet along. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I'm back at the center. So here, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, all into that same space. Working back down this side, you're going to put a double crochet into all of the stitches until that very last one. So for this row, it's five. And then into that very last stitch, it will be kind of tucked away a little bit when it's looking at you, so you rotate your work. You're going to end on an increase, which is two double crochets into the same stitch. And that is essentially all you do from this point until, the, until your shawl is as big as you want it to be. I'll show you one more row chain two, which doesn't count as anything, turn. Start with an increase into that very first stitch. Then one double crochet in each of the stitches right up until you get to the chain two space at the top. In that top chain two space, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And then on the way back down, one double crochet into every stitch, ending in this sort of last stitch that's slightly tucked away, end with an increase into that very last stitch. I'm right back down the end now. 
and I'm ending with two double crochets into that very last stitch. So that's it, that's all there is to doing a solid granny shawl. As I said earlier, this makes a great base for if you want to mix up your stitches as you go, or if you just keep going again with like a variegated yarn, it looks beautiful as you can see. It's such a warm, snuggly shawl. It's, I, I, I mean, it's great. I love, I love granny shawls. So this is a fab little variation on the traditional granny shawl and I hope that helps. Happy crocheting! Mm -hmm.